Hello and welcome everybody. Today is October 6, 2016 and this reading will be, the, will be for the period of October 10th to November 10th, 2016. The Mercury did go direct on September 22nd and today is the day when the shadow period also ended for most of the retrograde. So it's a good day to be starting new projects and new things you want to start in your life. This month we are going to have full moon on October 15th or October 16th depending on what country you live at and then also there will be new moon on October 30th. So let's see what are the journal energies for twin flames and star seeds for this month. Okay, and then we will be using this deck to pull two cards. Right. Okay, so we will start with masculine's environment, and that, that card is thinking man. And this is basically the masculine himself is represented over here. This is card number 46, which is number one, and the thinking man. So after a lot of negative influences which were removed from his life, from his surroundings previous month, now he's going deep. He is trying to figure out things. He is trying to figure out why there are certain patterns in his life. He is trying to figure out why he tried to give his unconditional love to others, but he does not get what he deserves in return. Why the relationships does not go the way he anticipates them to go. He is trying to figure out what has gone wrong and why. This is a great state for the masculine to be in because the last year the angel's advice was for him to go within because he has all the answers. So this really in tells us that masculine is going on spiritual path as well. What element is he in right now? And that is angel of strength. So basically, he is also accepting his feminine side. This is a beautiful picture with feminine energy, an angel of strength. So he's getting to a point where he's accepting balance inside him for both masculine and feminine energy. And he's also reaching to a point where he's getting and gaining spiritual strength. Spiritual strength to understand this. The spiritual strength to understand what has been happening in his life. What does he feel when he thinks about feminine? <laughs> the world. This is beautiful. It seems like this month, masculine is already walking on the path towards feminine spiritually. He's a thinking man where he's thinking about, you know, what's going on, what's right. He's looking for wisdom from universe. He's becoming balanced internally and getting a lot of strength that way. And when he thinks about the feminine, he's thinking about the world. It means that feminine, he realized that there is only one, there is only one who's his other half, and that can only complete his world. After so many different experiences, being in karmic relationships with other people, he has come to the conclusion 
or he will be coming to the conclusion sometime soon that feminine is the one who can complete the world for him. Very positive cards. What is in feminine's environment for this time frame? This is a number 11 card, and this is actually the card of abundance. This is the best card in deck, but it's coming in reverse. So she does have a potential to have everything. And last month also we have a card similar to this. So she does have potential of everything to have everything, to have materialistic abundance, to have all this golden lights, which is spiritual abundance. And for some reason, she's still not believing that it is possible. So it's pretty much there, but she's just not believing that it's very much possible for her. Okay. And then we, this is what is in the element for feminine. Angel of balance. This was actually angel of balance was the same card was at the same position last week, and that was actually not in reverse. But this month, it's in reverse. So something has happened. In fact, I was feeling this as well. Something has happened to the balance. She was very strong. She was focusing on mission. She was focusing on her materialistic and three-dimensional things, but... Those moments when she's silent, those moments when she's not doing anything, she does think about him. She, she does miss him. She does want to be in the union. So these elements are pretty much over there, but for this month, she'll be thinking about a lot. She will be thinking about this union a lot. She'll be, She'll be in a state of mind where she will feel that everything is not balanced in her life. This is very interesting. This card was at the same position last reading as well. What does she feel when she thinks about his masculine? Women holding a coin. She does believe that she is the one who can complete the world for the masculine. She does believe that she is the best choice for her masculine. She does believe that she can bring abundance. It's not only materialistic abundance, it's the abundance of emotions, it's abundance of unconditional love. It's abundance of that connection, which is very dear to be experienced. She knows that she's the only one who can provide this to him. And she's very much willing to that. She's open for that. And the good thing is she believes in that. She knows it. She knows it that he can go through many karmic relationships, but she's the only one who can probably provide this stability and abundance. Emotional, financial, physical, and spiritual. Okay, what does masculine wish feminine would know? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, honeymoon. When masculine is in this state of mind, you really wish that Feminine would know that this kind of life he would like to have with her. He really wished that he can be union with the feminine so that his world can be completed and they can have a honeymoon life. They can have a life of joy and bliss. Very positive thoughts on his side. What does feminine wants? Masculine to know. Beautiful. Religious factors in reverse. This is the second time today I got this for feminine in another reading as well. So 
what does this mean is feminine wants masculine to know that when it comes to divine partnership, when it comes to mission, when it comes to union, and when it comes to true love, she does not care about the limits of religion. She does not care about the limits of society. She does not care about what people have taught in school and families and all that. She's ready to break all those rules which does not serve the highest good for humankind or towards the truth. So this is basically a card where feminine is ready to rebel, ready to rebel towards the rules and social norms and values which does not serve any good anymore. She's ready to do whatever it takes for this divine union and for the truth. This is amazing. We'll be pulling two cards from this deck to find out what is the message angels would like to give to masculine and feminine. Actually, there are two for feminine today. Thank you. Okay. Time for a nap. This is a message for masculine from the universe, from angels. What does it mean that? He has been going from one karmic relationship to another, hoping that this will work. And somehow he knows that there is one for him. So he's going from one person to another looking for that one. But this is the time when he needs to go in and within, which is already doing that, more like a hermit state. And take a break from all that. This is a time when he needs to take a break. And what happens when you're taking a nap? You probably go to dream world. And when you, are dream, when you are in a dream state, you can connect to higher realms. So this is an indication. He needs to connect, disconnect first from this three-dimensional relationships and from the vicious cycle of going from one relationship to another and breaking up from those relationships and going in a state of meditation where he can connect with his true other half. And then there are two cards for feminine. Beautiful card. The card of bliss. The card of having everything. Just let it go. Trust and have faith because everything is there for you. And same thing. This card, actually she thinks it's in reverse, but no. Universe is providing you more than you need. More than anyone can have in any aspect. And this card is just the confirmation. And this is another card. Time to go. Time to go. This is a time to go towards the final section of this journey. This is time to go to that last segment and complete the union. Do you see this woman who's walking on this path and she's almost at the end? So this is time to go. Do not stop. Do not doubt this. Do not doubt all the messages you are getting. Do not doubt your own strength. Do not doubt the angel of balance you are because you have strength to rebel anything which is not for the good towards this union. So do not stop, feminine. You have everything you need to keep going and achieve what you need to. Thank you so much for watching. And I also got many emails and some comments about the private reading, I do not encourage private reading, but to answer and help those people. I'll be making a video pretty soon so that you get the clarity about that. And then also uh, there was a question about how feminine can 
what feminine can do to bring the union closer. So I'll be making another video about that too. Thank you so much for your time again. And hope you guys um, have a fantastic month ahead. Lots of love to all of you.